Hello everyone and welcome back to Professor Layton in the Diabolical Box where we spent way too much time on a puzzle. I spent way too much time trying to get the screens back the way they should be. I think I have everything working. This looks okay. Yeah, now there's no trash cluttering up that amazing view. Uh, wonderful, isn't it? Keeping a place neat really brightens it up. Hanging out the trash. Ooh, yeah, that was like 25 minutes. I, w I went back and looked. Ooh, that was rough. Alright, so what else can we do here? Oh my god, I'm like trying to read this. The scenery fly by so fast, my eyes can hardly follow it. It must be lovely to sit out here with a cup of tea. Maybe we should just stay out here, it's so nice. There we go. My, this observation deck certainly does command an impressive view. I will, ah. The railing is solid as this, there's no way I could fall off. I wish there was a way to like cut dialogue that you've already seen. Alright, where can we go? Nowhere. Alright, are we done here? Oh, you were not there before. Alright, what do you have to say? Ah, there's nothing like travel by rail to put a spring in your step. I couldn't agree more. And there's no better way to do it than on a train as fine as yours, Mr. Beluga. How did you know that? Hmm, so you know my name, do you? But of course, this train and its owner have quite a reputation in London. I've seen your face in the papers more than a few times. Oh, is that so now? Oh, there we go. Butter him up. Yeah. I'm sorry, uh, my friend, but I can't say I know you as well as you seem to know me. The name is Herschel Leighton. I'm a professor of archaeology by trade, but a train enthusiast on the side. Yes. I've heard tales of this train's grandeur, so I decided it was time to experience it firsthand. Well, isn't that something? It certainly is a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Layton, was it? Oh my, just look at how late it's gone. I really have to run. Do enjoy your time aboard. Yep, this is uh, my stop. Uh, sir, we're on a moving train. Yep, nope, I uh, gotta get off right here. Uh, yep, that mountainside. Uh, is there anything if I go in here? Still nothing, huh? Alright. Why don't we head back to the dining car now, Luke? I've worked up quite an appetite. The professor and Luke decide to visit the dining car a second time. Or hopefully no one has bugged them. Do you have any more puzzles? Gosh, I'm about to keel over from boredom. Sure, the job pays well, but it's so slow, it's painful. Oh. How about in here? Ow! Fine. <laughs> I do like this train setting, though. My apologies, sir. My deepest... Uh, welcome back, sir. My deepest apologies for the long wait. Let me show you to your seats. Alright, it's finally time to eat. My sentiments exactly. Well, look at all these choices. It's enough to make my head spin. Oh, look over there. There's some sort of commotion going on. You call that hot cuisine? I call it slop. You're saying we actually serve this to our customers? I'll remake it by the way, sir. Feh, get that mess out of my sight this instant. But of course, I'm very sorry to have displeased you so. And another thing, look at these vases in that picture. Utterly tacky. Replace them immediately. Uh, but sir, that piece is a quintessential work by the world-renowned. Bah, I don't care if the Queen of England painted it. Replace it and be quick about it. Uh, yes, of course, sir. I'll start making arrangements at once. Hey, it's the man we saw earlier. I don't think I've ever seen anyone so bossy and loud. Uh, that would be Mr. Beluga, I believe. Uh, it's too bad that picture wasn't to his taste. I think it's marvelous. 
Ah, oh, and speaking of pictures, Luke, have I got a puzzle for you. That was a part of the deal. Please don't let it be about trash. I'm gonna have... Uh... I'm gonna have issues with, tr with trash for a long time. The drawing below is made up of curved lines that intersect to create sections. If you want to color in the entire canvas so that no section touches the side of a section with the same color, what's the fewest number of colors you can use? You can use a color as many times as you want as long as it doesn't touch any area with the same color. Okay, I, I think I have the gist of it. So like color one, color one. Wait, so do I have to necessarily use all these? Hmm. Like, I guess, could section one be like this? You know? If you want to color the entire canvas so that the section touches the side, so that no section touches the side of a section with the same color. So does that mean, like, could I do color one here and color one here since that doesn't actually touch this line, this line, or that line? Because that's going to be a far different answer. Oop. Because if so, it would be... I think it would just be three, two, three, right? Then this one could be th three. That one could be two. This one could be one. Two, three. I feel like even that one could be three. That would have to be one. That would have to be two. One. Yeah, it just depends on that interpretation where it says side. So this one would have to be three, two, one. All right, two, three, three, two. Yeah, uh, by that interpretation, you could do it in as few as three. But it just depends. Does it consider, so this one and one, like, is that touching right there? I should just, could just clear one part. Because I also have, like, two and two there diagonally, but the sides don't touch. Otherwise, I think the answer would be five, if that does count. Let's try it. Leave it to me. Yeah. Okay. Piece of cake. Oh. Oh. 
You'll need three colors to fill in the drawing. Most of the drawing can be done with two colors, but one pesky area in the lower left corner requires a third Wow, I was wrong completely. I made this way harder on myself than I needed to. Two, two, two. That, it works. I'm staring right at it. It absolutely works. At least I was right because that one in the corner. Yeah, I think it was hard to shake the like the diagonals touching. All right, that wasn't too bad. Expertly solved, Luke. After a puzzle like that, I in a lovely meal, I could use a break. Let's head back to our room. Hello there. Sorry to interrupt your game, but there's something important you should know. As you progress through the story, some puzzles will disappear from their original locations. These puzzles are then moved to Granny Riddleton's shack, where you can solve them when you want. Okay, then here's the first set of puzzles to be sent back to the shack. If no puzzles appear next to the screen, it means there are no unsolved puzzles to send right now. How do we do? Did we get them all? We got them all! The professor and Luke decide to return to their room in car three. <gasps> Wait, does that mean we're going to spend the whole game inside the train? Hold on, I want to see something. Luke, let's step by our room before we go anywhere else. Oh, sounds good, Professor. Oh, I can go in here. I, that's what's bad even for Mr. Beluga. You mean he always blows up like that? Yeah, well, you know, me or someone else on the staff as a boss can be a real hard to please. That's awful. You guys shouldn't have to put up with him bullying you like that. Yeah, well, the boss has a point. After all, he made this railway what it is. He always says that a first class train deserves first class atmosphere. Heck, even the plates we use in the dining car special order, the workmanship is amazing. Check out the details on the back. Wait, what? That was a part of the deal. Oh, on your plate. Uh, the plate in front of you bears a mark made up of two nesting equilateral triangles. Can you puzzle out how many times bigger the large triangle is when compared to the smaller one? Okay, hold on. Uh, memo. Okay. Two nesting equilateral triangles. So that means the sides of the triangles are all the same size. All right, so this is A, A, A. Those are B, B, B. So I think the answer then is B divided by A equals what? Right? Okay. Hold on, let's go. I want, I want to get my math, my math back. Didn't they do this? In the, uh, how did I solve it in the other game? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, was it something like this? No, that seems... That seems like I'm getting further away, because I don't think those matter at all.
How did I do this before? I don't remember. This puzzle seems really familiar. I don't think it was exactly this. That doesn't help me at all. So we have A and B. What does that tell me? I think I'm onto something here. If I could, if I could draw correctly. What did that just do? I don't think it's anything. Uh, a diamond, maybe? Wait a second. That's it, right? Okay, hold on. Is there- a, I wish there was a way to like... Actually make sure that's the right size. That's not right. That's not right. I had it. Ooh, these are getting harder. I think I had it though. I think that was it. How did I, how did I do it? But not all those are the not all those are the same side size. I think this is it though. So there's one, two, three, four triangles. So it'd be four times the size. I think that's it. Yeah, because I think I think this area is equal to this area. I think that's it. Man, that was like an end game puzzle in the last one. Yep, yeah, there we go. If you th think to flip the little triangle as shown, it should only take a moment to realize that four of the smaller triangles. Yep, okay. 
Ah, there we go. Four smaller triangles will fit in the larger one. Yes! Yes, yeah, gosh, you've got the, an eye for this kind of thing. What exactly do you think Mr. Beluga doesn't like about the plates? You got me there. I guess rich people are just fickle. Anything else in here? Do you have any more puzzles? The boss can really bust my chop sometimes, but at the end of the day, I don't mind the job much. Do any of you have puzzles for me? Thank you for your patronage, sir. I hope our cuisine was uh, to your liking. Oh yes, both the variety and execution were excellent. You honor a sir. Professional servers as myself live for words like those. As a fan of diverse menus, perhaps you might enjoy this puzzle, sir. No, oh, no. Luke's Big Dinner. Okay. Now, Luke, are you sure you can really eat all of that? You put in quite an order there. No sweat, Professor. I'll clean my plate and still have room for more. It's no wonder the professor's concerned at Luke's order cost twice what the professor's did. Below you can see all the items Luke and Professor Layton ordered, as well as the price of each item. Touch the price for each of the items that are part of Luke's order. Okay, so it's exactly twice as much. Okay. Cost twice what the- Oh, this is gonna be fun to figure out. Alright, memo. So let's see. Let's do that one. That one. And that one. See where we're at. Okay. So that is. Shoot. 30, 55, 65, 72. So after that would be 36. And that meal is 33. Oh, I'm close. I was close. That was like random pull it out of the air. What if I swapped those two? That's 30. 46. Sixty-six, seventy-one. How do you get half of that? It'd be 34. So it would be double that would be 68. All right. So that's wrong too. Uh, what if we try these? Ugh, that's ugly math. 28. 35, 45, 65, 70. Now, which would be 35. And then we got 27 and 8. 35! We did it! Okay, so it's the. It's this, 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 and this. Okay. Wow, that was... I mean, it made sense to start with the biggest ones right off the bat. Huh, wonderful. Cool. That was good. Good work. You calculated the total tab. You'll see that the meal costs 145 pounds. Oh, it's dollars. Oops. Knowing the total, Luke's, Luke must have ordered... Oh, that would have been the better way to do it, huh? Instead of just randomly picking things? <laughs> Whoops. 70 pounds worth of food, and the professor, 35. Once you've got those numbers, the rest is easy. Are you sure you didn't order too much? Nope, this stew's great, and the steak's great, too. Well, then, uh, eat up, I suppose. Mm, 
goodness, you must possess quite the intellect to solve a puzzle like that so easily. Now as we have some time until our next destination, I invite you to sit back and enjoy the ride. Yes. Cool. All right, we're going to call an episode there. Uh, since the last one is, is either really long or I edited it to make it really short. But either way, we're going to call it here. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.